Hello, today I've got a memory challenge for you. All you need for your memory challenge is some sticks, about that big. You need somebody to play with, to somebody to challenge. That's probably at the moment going to be someone from your family or maybe someone else from your bubble if you're in school. And then you need some objects to hide, things you've got to remember. So what we're going to do in our memory game is lay a trail. And to, lay, and to lay the trail, you make arrows like this from three sticks that show you the way to go. Now, if you see a cross like that, you mustn't go that way. So we mustn't go that way over there in the wood because there's a cross. But we must follow the arrow this way until we find an object. If it's a big distance, you need more than one arrow. So come on, let's go. Ah, what have we here? So the first object we found is Baby Monkey. So then Baby Monkey was our first object. We've got to think of a way to try and remember that Baby Monkey was our first object because there are six things to collect. And we've got to try and remember them in order. Now to make it easier, you could write it down. But for a real challenge, you've got to try and remember in your head. So I'm going to say to myself three times, baby monkey, baby monkey, baby monkey. And I also, I happen to know that B, 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 is quite near the start of the alphabet. Now I don't know what the others are in alphabetical order, but that one might help me a little bit. Now right next to baby monkey, I found this cross. So I know I mustn't go that way. But look, I've also found this arrow. So that must be the way to go. And just up the hill, I can actually see another arrow. So I'm going to follow those, and I'm going to go on to our second object. Oh, so my second object is Blue Cat. So Baby Monkey and Blue Cat. Now they're both bees, that might help me. Now I'm going to try not to talk anymore, I'm going to follow the arrows to the objects. But every time I find an object, I'll show you. So let's see if we can remember all six together. So first we've got Baby Monkey, and second we've got Blue Cat. Let's follow the arrows. So we arrived at Mummy Monkey. So let's see if I can remember them in 
order. So I had baby monkey, blue cat. That's one, two, grey elephant was three. Okay. So pink bear was four, grey bear was five, and mummy monkey was six. Now I know that I put six out, and it's really important to tell people how many objects you put out, otherwise they could be out there forever. And I had to work really hard to remember those things. Now to help people know it was the end of the trail, next to Mummy Monkey sat under a tree, I put a big letter F for finish to help everyone. Now let's see how you get on with your memory trail. You could do this in your garden, as I say, you probably need a brother or a sister, a mum or a dad or someone else that looks after you in your bubble and you can have fun with your memory game too. You might like to make, like to leave letters out so you could make a word. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Bye-bye.